This is the Bordis and Bordis Friday Night Rivals on Comet. Good evening, live inside Harding Stadium in Steubenville for a special edition of the Bordis and Bordis Friday Night Rivals on Saturday night. It's a cross river rivalry with playoff implications the 4 0 Madonna Blue Dons visiting the 4 1 Steubenville Catholic Central Crusaders. Rob Metzger along with Tony Filberto for tonight's matchup here inside Harding Stadium. The Knicks towing and collision keys to the game for Madonna. Contain the run, limit the long runs for Catholic Central, and win that turnover battle. And for Catholic Central, they want to stop the big play and be more physical and win, of course, the turnover battle. Our Roto Rooter of Steubenville coaches matchup. Eric Meek, you see in your screen there, the veteran head coach, third season with Catholic Central. 149 and 110 in stops here at Central Toronto. We're high and a Wellsel. John McCune in his first season as Madonna's head coach, the Madonna High School alum, off to a 4 0 start, former coach of the junior Don's program. We'll take a timeout. When we return, we'll get things started here. 4 0 Madonna, 4 1 Catholic Central. A special edition of the Borders and Borders Friday Night Rivals here on Saturday evening in Steubenville. The Bordis and Bordis Friday Night Rivals on Comet is sponsored by Bordis and Bordis, WVU Medicine, Laborers, Local 809, The Health Plan, WMC, Target Shop, and Interstate Waste Services. Feels like deja vu from last season. The rain falling as these two teams get set to kick things off last year. Steubenville Central, a 20 nothing win at Jimmy Carey Stadium. Ohio Valley by here, pay here kickoff, and we are underway at Harding Stadium. Tommy Purgy on the return for Catholic Central, a nice return up to the 30-yard line. So a good starting position. Good here start. Uh, uh, nice return, broke a couple tackles, 30-yard line. Uh, good field position for their offense to start with. Madonna won the coin toss, deferred to the second half, so Eric Meeks Crusaders with the football to uh, start things off. Here inside Harding Stadium, coming off a homecoming win here last Saturday afternoon against Fairport Harding, 32 to 22. The quarterback is Matthew Sprockey, in his first year as a full-time starter. The junior quarterback who had a big 80-yard kick return last week in that victory as well. First choice, America. First down and 10. Ball at the 30-yard line. And they'll run it with Purgy. And Tommy Purgy gets around the end. Picks up plenty of yardage for a Catholic Central first down. We take a look at your offensive starters for Catholic Central. Our starting lineup is brought to us by McAdoo Towing and Crane Service. Sprock Eye quarterback Purgy in the backfield. You'll see him split out as well. Jimmy Hernan. He'll be in the backfield. Ten touchdowns to lead the team. James McGinnis, one of the receivers in there. Noah Huff at tight end. Timmy Ohio played tight end. And up front, Camden Bradley, Percy, Johnny Kostecki, Nick Mascio, Peyton Roush up front for Catholic Central. First choice America, first down and ten. And the toss, the purging out of the right side. Makes the move and good positive yardage up near the midfield stripe. So they're off to a good start. The starting lineups here, first brought to us uh, by McAdoo's Towing and Crane Service. Up front, Matthew Gear, Hunter Smith, Nebraska. Logan Brown, Angelo Nebraska, Wes Mollish, Ben Lazier, Trent McCartney, and Andre Crossland, Maddox Bowen, and KJ Ward. We have a timeout for uh, Gain of six. a hobbled Blue Dawn. Gain of five. That's Second a five yard five. pickup for head coach. Eric Meeks squad at the Trinity Health System time. Eric Meek, he's won everywhere he's been and Good strong season last year at nine and two, and off to a four and one start here 
in year number three at Catholic Central. Second down and four after the Purgy pickup. And running the football is Hernan picking his way through up to the 45 of Madonna before Gear takes him down along with Dominic Maple. Uh, you know, a very typical Coach Meek type offense. You know, he's going to put three backs in the backfield. That time he had four up there. And, you know, on crisscross, run power. He's going to run isolation. He's going to try to wear this front of Madonna down. You got Kyron Busick on the field right now as well in the backfield for Catholic Central. Again, that offensive line, Bradley Kostecki, Massio Roush, and Peter Liebhaber, your right tackle. First choice, America first down. Heard you looking for somewhere to go with it. Gets a couple of yards that time for the Madonna defense. The Comes up and makes the stop. Wes Mollish, Andre Crossland, Matthew Gear, wearing number 11. A host of Blue Dons on the stop. And yeah, we're seeing Sprocka coming to the sidelines to get the play from Game Coach two, Meek. Second, uh, and you know, second and eight. Uh, you know, a lot of people would say, well, that's probably a, a, a throw down, but they were not always sure with this stupid little central offense. Uh, they could be in four down territories, could be a run play. Yusuf Kernan Purgy in the backfield. Sprocka will keep it. The quarterback flags are thrown as he gets to the 40. Mullish is there Sprocka on the stop. The keeper to the right. Flag on the play. Looks like we have a holding on Steubenville Central. The first flag of this one going against the Crusaders, Ohio Valley Honda replay. It was just quarterback power sweep, and uh, I didn't see exactly holding where the hold the was. Uh, nice design play, all three blockers out in front, but it is coming back. Now it's second in a whole bunch. I look at John McCune, Madonna alum, in his first season as head coach. The number of Madonna alumni on his staff. Excited about the energy those guys are bringing sure. to the program here in year number one. Second down and 20. Busick in the backfield. As the fullback, earning the tailback. They'll look the block, and Sprock will throw it. It's incomplete. And third and long upcoming for Central. Uh, it was a half roll out here. They try to run a two-man flood, the deep route, the shallow route, and a little confusion with the between the receiver and the quarterback where he may be coming back to. So it'll be third down and 20. Lots of playoff points on the line in this one. Madonna is six in West Virginia Class A after last night's results. And Catholic Central third right now in Division 7, Region 27, after pretty much everyone last night already in action. Third and 20, Sprockeye. Now he's going to tuck and he's going to run it. Sprockeye's got some speed, tripped up, taken down. Good work for the Blue Dons. Sprockeye on the run. Maddox Bowen, the freshman, you'll see him at quarterback. He comes up and slows the progress and Stop trips him up. Yeah, it's fourth down. Dons. We'll see uh, he gets flushed out, but he had some running room. Gets a big chunk of this back, but Game Coach Meek has decided to line up in a punt formation. That doesn't mean they're going to kick it. Huff the punt. Noah Huff in punt formation for Catholic Central. Snap rolled back to him, and he's going to tuck it, and he's going to run it. Got to get across the 35. He will not. Ball is popped loose. They say he was down. Regardless, the ball's going to Madonna. Uh, trying to run. roll it back already down. Yeah, about the 37. The 37. Uh, yeah, it, it was a snap. They had a little trouble handling. Um, they uh, caught it off the ground. We'll see here. He made the decision. Uh, the I've seen a lot of punters get it out there and still kick it on the run. But uh, he did a nice job. Bowen in there. Trent McCartney. He'll be the center. A converted receiver, now the center this year for Madonna. A very unselfish move, was able to move from that receiver spot. Right, and sure. his, uh, You know, to smaller schools, sometimes, you know, you, you got to take your athletes and mm -hmm. just get them on the field. Someplace. And that's where he is on offense this season. With Bowen, the quarterback, the freshman. Gets rid of it, hit immediately taken down by... Camden Bradley and also Noah Huff in there as they complete it to K.J. Ward. 
Nice coverage. Uh, you know, they run a slip route with down in the backfield. The uh, looked like they were Lost in some type of man coverage, and uh, he stuck with his man. McAdoo's towing and crane service defensive starters. Peyton Roush with eight sacks okay. entering this one. Liebhaber, Kostecki, Bradley up front, Mahalio, Huff, Busick, Second Irvin, a linebacker, Hernan, Purge, Sprockey in the secondary to start this one. Second down and nine. Quarter number one. No score. First offensive possession for the 4-0 Madonna Blue Dons. And they will run it with Wesley Mullish. And Mullish gets loose across the first down mark to the 49-yard line. Uh, Nice run. It's at uh, outside zone, outside stretch play. Uh, had some good blocking in front of him, made the sticks. Uh, Mullish is pretty good back. Yes, he is versatile as well. Gear in the backfield, Crossland, K.J. Ward, Nebraska. We'll get back to that in a moment with the guys up front. And as Bowen, oh, hit hard by Huff, breaking up the pass to K.J. Ward. The attempt there. Ward intended receiver. Huff with the big pass breakup. Uh, Huff did a nice Huff. job uh, batting the ball away. It was that underneath uh, uh, crossing route where you want everything to clear and bring that uh, shallow receiver through, defend it pretty well. So that'll bring up uh, second down and 10 for the Blue Dons. The ball at the 49-yard line. You see the rain continuing to fall here. Light, steady rain. And keeping it is Bowen. The freshman quarterback slides. Bowen on the keeper. Four taken. The turf leap hopper. Make sure he's down along with Camden Bradley. You know, that could have been predetermined that he was going to keep it, or it could have come off the zone read where you see the defensive end close from Steubenville Central. So the quarterback pulls the ball and, and, and keeps it to the outside. On the Ohio Valley Honda replay, it's now third down and seven for the Blue Dons on their opening possession offensively of this contest. 639 and counting on your Bordis and Bordis score bar. Two receivers set here to the near side. Single receiver up top. They hand it off to Mullish. Mullish forward to the 45. Mullish on the carry. Before he is taken down to the turf, Johnny Kostecki. Yeah, they have uh, fourth down, but I don't see a punt crew crew coming on the field. So it looks like they may try to draw them off or they're going to run a play and try to get it. Deep Hobber also in there. It is fourth down and four for the Blue Dons. Two receivers sent to each side of the formation here. Maybe trying to try to get Central to jump here. Play clock is at nine. Play clock is at five seconds. He'll go for it. Here's Bowen. He's going to air it out looking deep for Andre Crossland. And it is incomplete. Yeah, Irvin and Purgy. Good double coverage. You know, that vertical coverage. ball. Yep. Uh, good double coverage, well thrown ball, but good coverage down there. Crossland back in the lineup tonight after missing the last game and a half with an injury injured uh, in the win at Clay Battelle. Missed last week's victory against previously undefeated Webster County. A 26 to 8 Madonna victory there. So the Crusader offense back out onto the field here for a First Choice America first down and 10. Ball at their own 45 yard line. Uh, both teams have been in fourth down situations. Neither one of them have punted. Huff and Mahalio, your tight ends. Pergy takes the handoff. Patient, and there he goes. Tommy Pergy, he is at the 30. Looking out, race the Madonna Blue Dons. Inside the 20 before he is tripped up. A touchdown saving stop by K.J. Ward. But the Crusaders in business inside the 15. Uh, and we'll see on the replay here, uh, that double power leading two backs inside. Got great speed and uh, pretty good speed to catch him. So it's just that shoestring tackle, as we call it. Ohio Valley Welcome Honda replay the shows it to you. It's first and 10. Ball at the 19-yard line where he was taken down inside the WMC pink zone. Crusaders on the move on their second possession of the contest. Hand off to Jimmy Hearn and Hearn working his way through down to the 10 yard line before Gear takes him down. Yeah, very typical uh, coach make offense. Uh, you know, they're, they're going to run tackle to tackle. They're going to just wear you down. Those big tackle linemen up front can push and uh, yeah, real positive yardage every play. 
Here's uh, Hernan shaken up after that last play. And we'll have a timeout here on the field. 4.49 to go Those in the opening quarter. We'll take a timeout as well. No score. No score on your WVU Medicine scoreboard. Tommy Purgey's big run has the Crusaders in business. Then Jimmy Hernan also with a strong pickup has it. First and goal at the nine-yard line inside the WMC pink zone. Crusaders threatening to score the first touchdown of the night. The rain continuing to fall. Sprock eye under center. And we have some movement. Our referee, Eric Teeters. Movement on the Crusaders. We'll back them up five yards. The first and goal now at the 14-yard line for Catholic Central. Yeah, that's a situation you don't want to be in. You know, you can't get the first down. you got to get the ball in the end zone. Much more manageable from the nine than it is from the 14. 419 in counting. Dusick, the fullback. Tailback, Purgy. Purgy pushes forward before he is taken down to the turf by DeBroska. Purgy on the run. Angelo Debraska, the junior, 5'855 pounds. Eric Meek. Yeah, they put the ball to 12. Uh, and, you know, maybe some type of rollout with a pass run option uh, or that quarterback power out on the outside. Uh, you, you know, you got three downs to get it in the end zone, but it's 12 yards. Second goal from the 12 yard line for the Crusaders. Pergy Hernan. Each side of Sprock guy. Purgy takes the handoff. Purgy taken down by Bowen down at the six. Purgy on the run to the left. Third and goal. Bowen on the stop for the Blue Dons. Now at the six yard line. Ohio Valley Honda replay. Okay. Yeah, it's some type of counter. Uh, fake the back one way. The uh, Purgy brought it back the other way. Nice gain, about seven yards. Nearing three minutes to go in this opening quarter on your Bordas and Bordas score bar. No score as of now. Third and goal for the Crusaders. Brock I under center again. Fakes the give. In trouble. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. Sprock Music was in complete. the vicinity there, but it'll now bring up fourth and goal from the six as the Blue Dons brought some pressure. And, you know, we see what the... Uh, the penalty early in the drive, you know, put you back at the 14, the extra five yards. Uh, you know, they're, they're down at the 1-2 now if it weren't for the penalty. And good work there. Dominic Maple initially to get in there for Madonna. It's fourth and goal. Eric Meeks, the Crusaders. Needing to get in the end zone or it'll be a turnover on downs. Brock I. Throws. It's caught. Hernan. Touchdown, Catholic Central. That, that's a tough throw. He's rolling hard to his left, pulled up, and, and, and threw uh, back to his right across the middle of the, of the end zone. Nice throw, nice catch. Labor's local 809 touchdown on fourth and goal. We look at it on your Ohio Valley Honda replay. Brock I. You see him rolling to his right. Pulls up and throws back to his left and, uh, and uh, does a nice job. Crossland nearly got his hand on it. Peyton Roush on to attempt the extra point. Busick to hole. And the kick is up. The kick is good. We'll take a timeout with 2.47 to go in the opening quarter. Catholic Central strikes first. It's 7-0 over Madonna on your WVU Medicine scoreboard here live at Harding Stadium.
7 0 Catholic Central on your WU Medicine scoreboard. Tommy Purgey with the big run to get the Crusaders in good position on this drive. Then on fourth and goal from the six, after the Sprock on it. Jimmy Hernan for the touchdown. Hernan with 10 rushing scores on the season gets the receiving touchdown. Set for another Ohio Valley buy here, pay here, kickoff. Peyton Roush has things. It's heat up. We're ready to roll. Fine drive. Falling on by gear at the 32-yard line. So that's where the Madonna Blue Dons will start this offensive possession here, trailing 7 to nothing. Yeah. Uh, he didn't feel the kick real well. Uh, you know, it was a, a line drive, kind of squib kick, and uh, didn't handle it, so he just covered the ball the safe thing to do. First and ten, Blue Dons. Blue Dons, first and ten. As it still is raining. Yep. Looks like last year. It was a wet <laughs> night at Jimmy Carey Stadium. And that 20 to nothing at Studentville Catholic Central victory. Central leads the all-time series 14-9-1. Last year's win snapped a three-game win streak by Madonna in the blue. Gone in the series, and Irvin is right there. And then Roush helps out on the toss. Back to Mollish. Nate Irvin. In the backfield in a hurry. He sure was. You know, that plays a slow developing play. You know, you're turning and, and, and you're, you're you're sort of advertising where the ball's going, and uh, you know, you toss it out there. And boy, Steubenville Central reacted to that and uh, made a nice play in the backfield. Good look on our Ohio Valley Honda replay. Bowen throws. Receiver knocked down. A couple flags come flying. And Ward was knocked to the turf. I, I think what he's saying, we tangled up. I didn't even see where the ball was coming, <laughs> but uh, the flags still were flying. And our referee for this one, Eric Teeters. The flag. Obviously, on the Last Crusaders the there. The Crusaders. Nathan Harper, Chris Case, Gina Hicks, Bailey Frederick, and Dave Persina. The remainder of this official crew tonight. And you see the contact there. So now, second down. Second and two. 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 From the 41 for the Blue Dogs. Makes up 10 yards. Makes up a, a good chunk of yards there. They were in the backfield after that big stop by Irvin. Two oh nine to go here in this opening quarter. Bowen looking deep. Might have been some confusion because the receiver didn't look back, and it's incomplete. And there was a couple of Crusaders back there on the coverage. Uh, I think the the receiver is probably thinking, you know, they got a big cushion. Uh, you're going to see that I'm going to I'm going to run a comeback, but uh, the quarterback, you know, read deep route. So now third and two. Madonna looking to keep this drive alive here back at their own 41 yard line. Trailing 7 to nothing here in the first quarter of the special edition of the Borders and Borders Friday Night Rivals here on Saturday evening at Harding Stadium. Here's Mullish on the carry. Mullish spins three. Wesley Mullish. Great effort to get it near midfield for a first down. You know, he's a good, tough, straight ahead runner. And I expect to see more of that from. Uh, Madonna, as the night goes on, you're know, getting, getting some rain out there, make it a little more difficult uh, for this pass game, so they may run that big back. Took multiple Crusaders to bring him down. Flags fly as they gave it to Mullish once again. Flag on the play. This time, Madonna moves early. It'll be a first choice America, first down and 15. John McCune and the Blue Dons. One of the assistants over there, Dante Rico, another former Blue Don standout. Right. Yeah, yeah, they've brought a lot of these uh, former Madonna players back to be part of this coaching staff, which I think is a great idea. You you understand what's expected at Madonna and that Madonna atmosphere, um, you know, is special, and they understand it. Handoff, Molish. Take it down to the 45-yard line. Peyton Roush. Down by Flag is thrown downfield at the 42. Flag on the play. Oh 
to the flag thrown downfield. And a personal foul on the Crusaders. Offsetting, Offsetting though, because also on Madonna. So it will be. Look here on your High Valley upon a replay on the play itself as Roush wrestled Mollish down to the turf. Right. It, you know, makes a first down again, but we talked about they're probably going to run Mullish inside. I had some success with him. He's a big, strong back. Uh, I, I think it's a good choice. Hand off this time. And a big hit by Purgy. As Gear takes it across midfield, it'll be third down at about nine. Yeah, they're getting some success inside the tackles now. You know, the, the whole first quarter, uh, they've been going outside, throwing the football swing routes. Uh, but you can see inside, a lot of success tackle to tackle. Oh, what a good hit. And then uh, Bradley helps finish it off for the Crusaders. Third and seven, <coughs> swing it out to Mullish. Makes the catch a little behind him, unable to regain the footing. He's down at midfield, picked up a... She lost a couple yards there. It's going to be fourth down and nine midfield. On the coverage. As quarter number one winds towards the end. So quarter number one in the books here inside Harding Stadium. Stumble Catholic Central with a 7 nothing lead on Madonna on your WVU Medicine scoreboard. We'll be right back. The Bordis and Bordis Friday Night Rivals on Comet is sponsored by Mr. Reuter, the Center of Music and Art, Trinity Health Systems, D. Felice Brothers Pizza, Local Union 495 Plumbers and Pipe Fitters, and McAdoo Towing and Crane Service. A wet Saturday night here at Harding Stadium, Studio Catholic Central leading Madonna 7 to nothing as we start quarter number two. It's fourth and nine for the Blue Dons in punt formation. And Ward with the big boots. And it's going to bounce inside the five. And they was in the end zone for the touchback. Well, you saw Steubenville Central put no one deep because uh, they weren't sure that Madonna was going to kick the football. Uh, they kept all 11 at the line of scrimmage. Uh, boy, it was close. Very We're going to see in the replay. He, uh, First and 10 Crusaders on the 20. Very oh, close. Very close. That would have really uh, had the Crusaders <laughs> pinned back there, but instead they'll have it out here at the 20-yard uh, line. And Mr. Reuter, first down and 10. A good effort there by Bowen to sure try to save it before going in the end zone. That's good hustle coming from that gunner position, running down, you know, did the smart thing, batted the ball backwards, but uh, someone thought he was in the end zone. Earning the tailback, flips it back to the quarterback, Sprock Eye. Sprock Eye, looking for somewhere to go with it, but Madonna trying to bring him down. They will. McCartney is the one to bring him down. They still do pick up some positive yards there. Right. I think you get about six out of it. Uh, you know, the flea flicker, you hand to the back, he tosses back to the quarterback. Uh, didn't fool the secondary of Madonna, but uh, you know, he did the smart thing, tucked the football and ran. We're going to see it on the replay. Gives it to the tailback, turns, flips back to him. Team quick lane okay. replay. But you'll see good coverage down the field. Yeah. Uh, actually, they got tangled up. Yeah, Purgy downfield there. The old flea flicker worked last night in a big way for Edison in a win against Toronto. Oh, yeah. And a flag on the Blue Dons there, holding. Might have been what we saw there downfield. Right. And we'll move the football at the 30, just inside the 30. Yeah, it has to be a first and down. It is a first down. Like it's a 10 yard I looked over. I was like, I think it's a first. <laughs> it's got to be a first. It's a 10 yard penalty. Unless it was a nine and a half yard penalty. It'd That's be a new rule. <laughs> Bouncing off tacklers. Hernan. Right. That's that inside run game uh, you know, Coach Meeks uh, liked for so many years. 
Crusaders controlling the football, controlling the clock. He's the clean replay. Yeah, it's just a you know, power play. The, uh, the backside back, you see the whole boy tips the shoulders down and just keeps grinding. Yeah, Hernan showing the power as well there. Mm-hmm. Second and two after picking up eight yards. Busick now the tailback, Hernan the fullback. They'll give it to Hernan. Quick give. Blue Dons not full to Hunter Smith. Gain of about a stop. yard. Picked up a yard. It's going to be third and a yard now for Smith Catholic Central. For the Blue Dons. A lot of interchangeable you know, guys on this offense right. for Catholic Central. Pergy can line up, line up out wide, line up in the backfield. Hernan can be your fullback. He could be the tailback. Busick, vice versa. A lot of different guys that can... Uh, Move around. Sprock eye under center. Third and one. That's Hernan at fullback. First down and more at midfield. Hernan breaks it to the outside. Looking for somewhere to go with it. Patient. Picks his way through. Gets it up across the 35-yard line. So on third and one, Hernan picks up much more. Yeah, you know, just that quick hitter to the fullback. Uh, uh, your intention, let's gain a yard and a half. Let's get the stick. Just get to him. Made a nice cut and, and, and outran some defenders. Made a nice move there. Patient. Come right back against the grain. Good work up front, too, right around the, the football there after being snapped. I'm giving him some space to break it out there. Mr. Reuter, first down and 10. Hernan and Purgy. And Busick in the backfield with Sprock out of the pitch to Purgy. This time nowhere to go. Mullish no and Ben Lazier in Purgy on that stop stairs. on that Mr. Reuter first down. He lined up in the wishbone, uh, the, the, the toss sweep to the to the far back and uh, two backs leading in front of him. We'll see the replay here. Quarterback reverses out, two blockers. Nice block at the perimeter. I uh, just could only hold those blocks so long. Nine minute marking counting here in the first half. Crusaders with the lead in the football. It's second down and 11. Hernan. Pushes forward to the 30 yard line. Gain of six. Picked up six. Crosslin on the stop. The Blue Dons. Thirty-five. Look at Nick Snodgrass on that defensive line for Madonna. Eight fifteen, and rolling here in that second quarter clock with Purgy and Hernan to each side of Sprock. I hear Hernan again getting a call, gets some room to run, and Jimmy Hernan. Hernan on the run. Well, this offensive line's doing an awfully nice job. Open, you know, the tackle to tackle game has worked very well for Wheeling. Uh, First down. First down yardage for the Crusaders. They'll move the sticks once again. And Mr. Reuter first down. The ball now at the 27 yard line. Mahalio and Huff, your tight ends. Brock Eye to keep it. Bounces it outside. Good work by Bowen because Bronchi is able to bounce right. it there. He might still be running. He might be. Nice tackle. Picked up five, though. It's second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 17. Definitely four down territory. I expect to see the ball on the ground uh, continuously now. And look at Bowen coming up to make the stop after five-yard pickup for Sprock Eye. Taking the snap is Hernan, and Jimmy Hernan still on his feet, pushing forward inside the five, diving down to the two-yard line. It's Jimmy Hernan picking up some big yardage. He has 580 rush yards entering this game, and he has certainly added that total so far. That full house backfield, as we're going to see it again, the deep back just follows the other three backs up to the hole. Find your way. Offensive line does a nice job, man on man blocking. I bet we're going to see a bunch of people in the backfield for the next number of plays. 
That continues. Hand off Purgy. Purgy. He's in to the end zone for the Crusader touchdown. Labor's local 8 9 touchdown, Tommy Purgy. You know, it's a play they've been running. Two backs give it to the deep one. Uh, blockers in front of him. Look at the man blocking up front. Did a nice job of that offensive run. Paving the way, controlling the football. All things Eric Meek wanted to see, and it's worked so far. Busick the hold for Roush on the extra point attempt. 6.22 to go here in quarter number two. This kick is blocked. 13 nothing. your score will take a timeout. Crusaders in front on your WVU Medicine scoreboard. Thirteen nothing, Studentville Catholic Central extends the lead on your WV Medicine scoreboard. We have an injured blue dawn down after the extra point block. They're continuing to attend to him uh, down inside that five yard line as the Crusaders had just added to the lead and then had the uh, extra point blocks. Catholic Sater student section as we look inside the Seven Ranges Entertainment Goat Cam. The students staying dry now. It looks like maybe the rain is slowed. I'm not sure. We're nice and dry here inside the Harding Stadium press box. You know, well, outside, not so much. Not so much. You know, we watched a nice drive coming down the field, uh, mostly run plays. And, you know, and, and we all see who the backs are and, and the quarterback. But those linemen up front have just done a, an outstanding job. I've said for years, the toughest place to play and the toughest place to coach is the offensive line. And they're doing just an outstanding job uh, with those five guys up front. The young ones, they don't care if it's wet out. It's a, no, it's they're a good weather to They're get having out. fun. Go get wet. They, they slide get around their, a little right? bit. They got their Crusader footballs with them, it looks like. They'll drop eventually. Eventually. Getting set now for a Ohio Valley by here, pay here, kickoff. Coming off of that injury time. I didn't get a chance to really catch who they were helping there off the field. But, you know, neither roster huge, but Madonna really just with about 20 guys on the roster. 19 tonight, Colton Griskovich unavailable to play this one as well. So, you know, number is always an issue. And you, you can't get anyone hurt, really. Yeah, yeah. You, you're, you're back full, backup fullback. Got to be the backup left tackle sometimes. Bring two jerseys for him. Roush kick. Falling on at the 30-yard line. It's an overturn. Um, Nichols falls on. Right. You know, the, the one hop to him and thought the safe thing to do was go down with the football. Just a Reuter first down and 10 at the 30 yard line. Ludons looking to get something going here. They also will get the football to start the second half as they had won the toss and deferred. They'll send three receivers here to the near side of the formation. Single receiver set up top with the Mullish in the backfield. Bowen in trouble. Roush and Bradley in there in a hurry along for the Crusaders. Look at it again on your team quick lane replay. The snap was a little bit high. Had good pressure coming off the corner and underneath. Masakio also in there as well. Masakio helping out as well. Second down and 19. Roush entered this one with eight sacks. Bradley with two sacks, and they team up there. Coach Meek pleading his case about something. Second and 17. Handoff met immediately and taken down. Bradley was there. Hustle finished it off. 
uh, tried to run inside zone, you know, and uh, uh, they, they must have slanted up front. Both came clean through the gaps and met him in the backfield. Third down and 17 now, nearing the five-minute mark of this opening half. Wendy's halftime report with Dylan Cleveland ahead here at the break. And Bowen will throw it, and T.J. Ward has it. Big, big pickup here for the Blue Dons. Maybe you'll get him going here on offense, moving the chains. That might be the spark that they need. Boy, it was a well-thrown ball. We're going to see the he rears back and uh, throws a nice spiral. Uh, caught him on the run. Nice throw, nice catch. Ward goes up and gets it. The Donna coaches were looking for a, a flag for a late hit out of bounds, but I, I think it's one of those things you do in front of your bench. Ball midfield, Mr. Ruder first down and 10. Bowen, it's tipped and picked off. Johnny Kostecki with it. And Kostecki, the interception and the little return afterwards. What a lineman's dream. Somebody tips it and I got the ball. Second I straight. I got the ball. <laughs> Look, at he's excited. Absolutely. We'll Team see. quickly in Watch replay. The ball get tipped. Nice. Well, they're going to move him to, to a receiver. Yeah, Kostecki. Second straight week, the Crusaders get a pick off of a tip last week. Peyton Roush tipped it, and Camden Bradley caught it. Bradley may have got a hand on that one, and Kostecki with the interception, and the Crusaders get that momentum right back. Mr. Reuter, first and 10 at the 45. Hergy takes the snap. Patient works his way through. Picks up eight yards. Yeah, I saw a flag go someplace. Yeah. There is a flag down 32. Personal foul on the Blue Dons. Now it'll be a first down as they move the sticks after the yards. Somewhere deep in the secondary. Uh, a little late hit there after. I think he was just trying to get a little ball to get up. It might have been it. First and might. 10, Crusaders at the 23. But now the ball is at the 23-yard line. Just when you thought Madonna had something Great. going after the big completion toward the next play at interception. And now the Crusaders on the move. Snap to Hernan. Hernan pushing the pile forward. Uh, you, you know, this stupid little central team has the capability shoulder to shoulder, tackle to tackle, just to get a good push and let those uh, backs find their way uh, behind them. Picks up five, second and five. Inside the WMC pink zone, the ball at the 18 yard line. Brock Eye under center. Tossed it to Purgy. Purgy hit. Ball oh, popped oh. loose. And the Blue Dons have it. Molish popped it loose. Dabroska's down at the bottom of the pile with the football. Well, that's the turnover that uh, Madonna needed. You know, a three score game uh, would have been very difficult for them. You know, they're right back in this football. You know, nice hit. Popped it oh, loose. Oh, actually, Molish was there, but it also got knocked out. By Crossland. Andre Crossland knocked it loose, it looked like. Slow to get up is one of the Blue Dons, I believe, here. We'll wait and see. But it is Blue Don football. Maybe time to shoot. To Crossland. Force fumble. Nebraska, the fumble recovery. But again, give credit to Molish for uh, oh, starting to wrap up right, there. Right. Slow the progress. Mr. Ruder first down. 3.15 to go here in the second quarter. For the team's trade turnovers. Madonna's got it. But they're back at their own 20. Molish looking to get around the edge. He will get a couple. 
Looks like we got a flag down, down in the holding area or a block below the waist, one or the other. Yeah, a couple flags down. Going to go against the, the Blue Dawns, I believe. Yeah. Eric Teeter's our referee for this evening. Still first down. But they'll back him up. 10 yards from the stump. Or 15, excuse me. Personal foul. Chop block there. Chop block. So now the ball back at the 10 yard line. First and 20. Ludon backed up. But. For their sake, just glad they have the football instead of the Crusaders having it, looking to go up three scores. A little trouble here. What is going on? Ball is loose. Still on the ground. It's still loose. Slid on. Picked up. Mahalia's got it. Timmy <laughs> Mahalio. I think we'll look at it again because yeah. I don't know what just happened. That ball bounced around a whole bunch. You know, the, uh, the field's wet. The ball gets wet. We'll see the replay here. Oh, it, 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 the snap pops straight up, and then right. battle for the ball right. as it bounced They're around. Swatting it around, and in comes Mahalio. Right. And now the Crusaders first and goal at the four. Purgy. Touchdown, Catholic Central Crusaders. If you saw that offensive line, cool. they, they shortened their splits, went toe-to-toe, -to -toe and said, we're going straight ahead. It's a push. Labor's local, 8 9 touchdown. Purgy, second of the game. Do they take advantage of the turnover? Score the touchdown. They'll go for two now. 2.53 to go here in the first half. That's correct. That'll make it a 21-point game. So that's three, seven, uh, you know, uh, three touches and three extra points to catch him. Jimmy Hernan, no troubles. He's in for the two-point try. We'll take a timeout. 2.53 to go in the half. Doomville Catholic Central now in front. 21-0 on your WBU Medicine oh, look scoreboard. At look, look at, at that, that line. Pushing. Touchdown. Twenty-one, nothing. Stubble Catholic Central opens up a three-score lead on your WB Medicine scoreboard. They take advantage of the fumble recovery at the four. And Tommy Purgey has his second Rossi. rushing touchdown. Ohio Valley by here. Hey, here. Kickoff. Roush has it teed up. It will roll. It will be picked up. And Nebraska wrestled out of bounds. Nebraska on the return. You know, those line drive kicks are hard to field sometimes, especially, you know, on a wet field. It, it picks up some water as it's bouncing. So, um, you know, fortunate to, to hang on to that football there. Blue Dons. First and 10 at the 25-yard line. First and 10, Blue Dogs from the 25. Well, Johnny Kostecki had that interception off the pick. Jitters would actually turn it back over, but soon after they got it back on another turnover and then score. Here's Bowen on the keep. And Purgy is there to take him down in the backfield. Tommy Purgy. Purgy. 
And it looked like they tried to spread uh, Steubenville Central out. Central was in a three-man front. A lot of people in coverage. And, uh, you know, uh, just rolled and was going to keep the ball on, on a quarterback sweep. But uh, uh, no go. Pergy. Two touchdowns and comes up with that stop yeah. there for we, Eric Meek Scott. Right, we've called his name quite a few times this evening. Both sides of the football. Second down and nine. Nearing the two minute mark here of the first oh. half. The Flags movement. In. Yep. That'll go against the Blue Dons. Second and 14 now. Definitely not a fun night to be a center with the wet football <laughs> nah, and the rain coming one. down. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Three touchdown lead when Steubenville Central gets uh, the ball back that they go under center and, uh, you know, put a couple backs in the backfield so you don't have that uh, bad quarterback exchange. In trouble, Peyton Roush. Peyton Roush is a nice size defensive end, uh, about 6'2", 235. Come off the edge, uh, uh, quarterback had no chance. Did it earlier, eight sacks entering this one, had his hand in one earlier, and that was all Peyton Roush right there. It was. Team quick lane replay. Good push. Third and 22. Less than a minute to go, play clock down, and a timeout called by the Blue Dons here. With that Dons. play clock winding down and facing third and a 22. And your Wendy's halftime report upcoming with Dylan Cleland. Our game ball winner tonight was none other than Dave. The health system timeout. The 55.6 seconds on the clock. Scholar Athlete of the Week and more. Take a look back at some of last night's action as well across the Ohio Valley. I'll also tell you that today Indian Creek, a winner at Bel Air 40-26 to to go to 5-1. and one. Uh, Coach Connor and the uh... Redskins are having a nice season, uh, uh, a, a real surprise. Boy, they've uh, uh, won a lot of football games. They've done a great job this season. and They will be hosting Harrison Central on the next Bordas and Bordas Friday Night Rivals matchup. Steubenville Central's next opponent is Oak Glen here next Saturday night, and uh, today the Golden Bears sell to Berkeley Springs. An afternoon matchup passing complete. Pass incomplete. Of course, the Berkeley Springs head coach is uh, Wes Eddy, the Brook High alum. Right. And they uh, make the long trip from uh, towards the eastern panhandle right. to pick up the win 27 to 12 this afternoon at Oak Glen. They made a good choice playing three in the afternoon. Yeah. You don't have to leave too early. You don't get home too late. And your fans can come to the game. Fourth down and 22. KJ Ward in punt formation. And another timeout here called by the Blue Dons. With 52 seconds to go until halftime. Blue Dons have a big key, another key matchup in Class A next week at home. On a, it's a Friday with the Cameron Dragons coming to town. Last night I saw Cameron uh, defeat Tyler Consolidated 13 to 6. Nice football team. Which puts uh, Cameron now into the top 16. They were three and one and sitting 20th, but uh, got a lot of points for that win against Tyler, who was now two and two. Their Trinity Health System timeout here. So yeah, Madonna will be hosting Cameron on Friday night at Jimmy Carey Stadium for homecoming. Yeah, we're high. We'll be traveling. They're going to Kaiser, I think, next Friday. 
Yeah, another long trip. And they yeah, were at Frankfurt. They, Frank they had a bye week. Then they're going, you know, twice out uh, towards the Eastern Panhead. Again, it's fourth and 22. Blue Dons trailing 21 nothing. Ward gets the high kick away, taken by Purgy at the 45. Tommy Purgy. Takes the return up to the 32 yard line. The Crusaders still have a little bit of time to work with here. Also, with all three of their timeouts to work correct. with. Correction 33. 41.5 seconds. Ball at the 33 yard line. That, that's plenty of time, ball. 33 yard line. They'll split Mahalia out wide. Actually, he's uh, sprinting off the field to check out of the play there. Play clock under 10. Pro looking for Purgy incomplete. Right, That'll stop the clock. 38 the seconds. Second and 10. Second down and 10. Crusaders led 7 to nothing after one. On the uh, touchdown pass from Sprock Eye to Hernan. Officials. Time out here. They're going to head over to talk to uh, John McKean. Time out on the field. His first season as the head coach of the Blue Dons. Got that Junior Dons program fired back up the last couple of years and certainly important to get that feeder, those feeder programs. Sure. And, and he, he was part of that Junior Dons program yes. for many, many years. Thirty-eight seconds to go. Second quarter. Going deep. It's incomplete. Third and ten. Looking for McKinnis downfield. Now we'll have to see uh, what Coach Meek decides to do. Uh, run the football and run the clock out so you don't give Madonna the opportunity to get the ball back or you're trying to get more points. Hey, Madonna has two timeouts left, though. I don't know if he'll really try to do much there as far as getting, you know, try to get too fancy here if they would get it back. Third and ten. We have whistles. And flag. flag. A little movement in the backfield. I think that just about answered our question yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, you know, now we're third and what, 15. 15. I, I think that uh, Coach Meek probably just tried to get out of the half and be content with the three uh, three touchdowns. But then I could be wrong. We'll find out. Yep, I was wrong. Here's Hernan. Moving his feet. Jimmy Hernan still going. Jimmy Hernan will not be denied. Right. Now he'll try to get the points. They're going to call a timeout here. One of their three. Stops the clock. 21.7 seconds. Big pickup by Jimmy Hernan. Nice run. Again, going back to the offensive line. Good blocking up front. But good run. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. Breaks another tackle. And drags a couple of guys. So, timeout. Chimney Hill System. Timeout. Ball on the 13. Gets it all the way down to the 13-yard line here. Two timeouts remaining now for the Crusaders. With 21 seconds. I mean, that's plenty of time. Using your timeouts if they're going to throw the football. Yeah, with two timeouts, they can do a few different things. they got right. some options here. Right. Enough time to work with. And the Blue Dons trying to find a way to keep them out of the end zone before they get the football to open up the second half. Ball 
21 to nothing is the score. You're live inside Harding Stadium, inside the WMC Pink Zone. Big to give, backside pressure comes, throw, open, end zone, Huff! He's got it! Touchdown. Noah Huff, the Labor's local, 8-0-9 touchdown for the Crusaders. Uh, getting a lot of backside pressure, almost didn't get that off. And Sprockeye, despite the pressure, puts it up. So the foot drag, did a nice job getting the foot inbounds. Noah Huff on the touchdown reception. His first touchdown reception of the season. Roush's extra point is up. It's good. He's perfect on the night. It's, it's 28 to nothing here with 15 seconds to go until the half. So, they were looking for the end zone. They, they were looking for the end zone. Uh, you know, a lot of things transpired in the last minute or so. Uh, you know, Madonna had the ball, gave it back. Uh, Steubenville Central, you know, has a third and 15, runs the ball, gets a first down. Now they're back in uh, with the opportunity. Look at the catch. Oh, yeah. The foot come down. Did a great job getting the foot in and uh, maintaining possession of the football. Catholic Central marching band getting sent to take the field at halftime. Four and one Crusaders lead this one 28 to nothing. Three touchdowns here in the second quarter. Two rushing scores by Tommy Purgey. Matthew Sprock guys get two touchdown passes. Gives him four on the season. Ohio Valley by here, pay here. Kickoff time once again. Picked up at the 26-yard line by Nebraska. Nebraska ball popped loose and recovered by the Crusaders. Ryan Holdsworth on the recovery with 10 seconds to go until halftime. Uh, you know, uh, you got to take your shot at the end zone. Uh, you still got a timeout. Uh, you, you're uh, in Madonna territory. Uh, take your shot. Ball popped loose. First and ten, Crusaders at the 38. To get it at the 38-yard line, Purge will go out wide to the top side. McKinnis here to the near side. Crusaders have a couple of timeouts. And they'll take a shot downfield over the middle. It's Huff on the reception down inside the 10. Down into the five, still fighting down. Timeout called with 4.8 seconds. <laughs> Injured Blue Dawn on the play as well. Maybe a cramp. Looks like it's a cramp. Wow. The Huff. Right across the middle, comes up with a reception. Had just had that touchdown reception. Right. The things really have changed here now in the last minute. Last minute or so. Hmm. Team quick lane replay across the nice middle. Nice throw, nice catch. Watch him. Uh, He's got one, two, three, four, five, five blue dons around him, and he just will not be denied. Right. <laughs> And now, with 4.8 seconds on the clock, one timeout remaining, it's first and goal. For the Crusaders. Inside the WMC pink zone. Hernan the fullback. Urge your tailback, Mahalyu. And Huff, again, your tight ends. 4.8 seconds on the clock. Give to Hernan. He is met. Still fighting forward. He's in! As the clock hits zero. The extra effort. Jimmy Hernan.
Lavers local 809 touchdown. Check out the extra effort by Jimmy Hernan. Yeah, he was hit in the back. He was hit. He was stopped. That's right. Just keep those legs pushing and pushing and pushing. Get the end zone. And credit really to the official not blowing it dead early right. because sometimes you know you get stacked up. Sure. They they you you get blown dead. All right. Kept the feet moving. Rouch on for another extra point attempt. The clock hit zero. Extra point kick popped up, and it's no good this time. But the Crusaders will take a 34-0 lead to the locker room at the half. Four second quarter touchdowns by Catholic Central. Your Wendy's halftime report coming up after this timeout. Welcome to the Wendy's Halftime Report. I'm your host, Dylan Cleland. We've reached the half of our Bordas and Bordas Friday Night Rivals game between Madonna and Steubenville Catholic Central. Coming up next on the Wendy's Halftime Report, we'll introduce you to our Scholar Athlete of the Week. Welcome back. Now it's time to meet our DeFelice Brothers Pizza Scholar Athlete of the Week. Steubenville Catholic Central senior Camden Bradley stays busy as a key player on the Crusaders football and basketball teams, but it hasn't kept him too busy to achieve high marks in the classroom as well. His grades are fantastic. He's a 4.0 student, which is an incredible uh, feat. You know, uh, as you had mentioned earlier, he plays football and basketball, and he's a great leader. He's a great young man. As busy as Bradley may be balancing sports and studies, he is just as busy when he's on the football field contributing in all three phases. He's a technician on both sides of the football. He doesn't come off the field. He plays all the special teams. Really came on last year's junior year. Mm -hmm. He played some tight end and some tackle offensively and defensive end. And this year, we unsel he unselfishly, we said, we, we just need you to tackle offensively. That's where we need you. And whatever, whatever he can do for the team. And he's had a really solid season so far. Bradley recorded his first interception of the season in last Saturday's win to help the Crusaders start the season 4-1. and one. Eventually, his high school days will come to an end, but Bradley already has an eye on a future field of study, although undecided where he'll pursue it at. I love uh, math and science, so I'm planning to uh, major in mechanical engineering. It's always interesting to me, that hands-on stuff. What what sparked your interest in that, in that field there? Uh, not that specific field. My older brother Austin who's eight years older than me uh, does biomedical engineering and he seems to really enjoy it and it's a great role model. He's somebody that we're really gonna miss when when he walks out of here. Steubenville Catholic Central senior Camden Bradley the DeFelice Brothers Pizza Scholar Athletes of the Week. And that'll do it for us here on the Wendy's Halftime Report. Thanks for joining us next our Friday Night Rivals crew has the highlights from the first half. Thirty-four nothing. Steubenville Catholic Central leading Madonna on the WB Medicine scoreboard. Your Wendy's halftime report are rolling on with first half highlights. Matthew Sprockey, the touchdown pass to Jimmy Hernan. It was seven nothing after a quarter. Tommy Purgy touchdown. He had two touchdowns in the second quarter, make it twenty-one to nothing. Then late in the half, uh, Sprockey, nice pass to Noah Huff. And then check out the effort by Hernan getting in right before the break to uh, put the Crusaders of 34 nothing, taking advantage of a couple of turnovers. They score three times in less than three minutes to put us in a running clock situation when the third quarter opens up. We'll take a timeout when we return. Second half action here live at Harding Stadium. Catholic Central in front, 34 to nothing.
to Bordis and Bordis Friday Night Rivals on Comet is sponsored by Bordis and Bordis, WVU Medicine, Laborers, Local 809, The Health Plan, WMC, Target Shop, and Interstate Waste Services. Thirty-four, nothing. Your score, Studio Catholic Central. Three touchdowns in less than three minutes to go in the first half has put us in the uh, running we're clock the situation 50. to open up the third, where Madonna will receive this opening kickoff. Right. Uh, you know, you, you saw the experience uh, of Coach Meek knew how to handle the clock, how to handle his timeouts there, and that last couple of minutes and so on. I thought he did an outstanding job, play selection and, and clock management, and uh, put us at a 34 nothing score. And you look at the uh, running clock rules in Ohio. 30 points or more will keep it at a running clock. Now, if Madonna would score in this drive, we'll go back to normal timing until the time that Catholic Central would potentially put it back in a 30-point game or more. Right. Right. There are a few reasons the clock will stop, but there aren't many. So it, this second half could move along quickly if it remains uh, in the running clock situation here. Again, Eric Meek and the Crusaders uh, next week will host Oak Glen. Earlier today to Berkeley Springs at home, 27 the 12 and Madonna next week will be hosting the Cameron Dragons, another big playoff point game in West Virginia, Class A. Again, the Blue Dons entered this one sitting in the number six spot in Class A after last night's games. Top 16 will get in the playoffs. Top eight get home games. Now four classes this year right. in West Virginia. You obviously coach a long time in West Virginia. What do you think of the four I, I, classes? I love it. And who it helps is, are the Madonnas and, and some of your smaller schools. Because Cameron's. The Cameron's because you're not dealing with Williamstown and St. Mary's and, and Wheeling Central. And, you know, in those bigger single way schools, they've all kicked up to the, to the double way. So, uh, you know, it makes it very competitive uh, for the smaller school. Wahama looking real good in really single good. A this year. They really were uh, huge uh, against Wharton County last night. You know, we, Sounds like they are the yeah. uh, one of the powerhouses this you, year in class. Yeah, you know, one year when I was at we, we scrimmaged them, yeah. and, and you know, they went toe-to-toe with us, and we had a pretty good football team. Set so, for an Ohio Valley buy here, pay here, kickoff. So, the, you know, the four classes, I, I like. The only thing I don't like is in Class 4A, there's only 16 teams. Everyone's in already. Everybody's that in. That was kind of a last-minute thing, too, know, because of all I the know. appeals of the, the, the formula. They move schools back. So, yeah, just 16 teams in Class 4A. And, oh, falling on it. Ludons will keep the football here right. to start this third quarter right. of play. Last thing that Madonna would have uh, needed there was to turn the football back over. And also want to avoid any uh, injuries here sure. as well. As a Maddox Bowen is set to uh, get back onto the field here. One of our former Big 22 players of the year, Ross Comis, uh, in his first year yep. running the offense here for Madonna. Yeah, I see uh, Lou Comis is on there. Rob Gill was a quarterback for me at Madonna in the early 90s when I was the coach. So he's his father was a principal, actually. Uh, Greco is a Madonna name. Les Show, of course. And Myers on the staff, yeah. yep. Yeah, so these are Madonna people that understand uh, the, the workings of Madonna. Connor Arlia down there. Ball is tipped in complete. Camden Bradley, what a... Another of our scholar athletes of the week coming up with a big play there on defense. Second down and 10. Again, the Blue Dons, young in spots, veteran in others. The quarterback, Maddox Bowen, just a freshman. Throws a nice ball for, for a young guy. And again, with the incomplete pass, the clock will continue to run with it being in the Ohio Mercy Rule situation. Had we been in West Virginia tonight, it would not be running yet. We would have to wait till the fourth quarter in a 35-point game. Here's Bowen on the move. Big hit as Ward holds on. But Tommy Purgy on the spot. Purgy's had a great night. Both sides of the ball. He scored a couple of touchdowns offensively, made a number of big plays. Watch this hit here. 
Perfect timing. Timed it up. It'll be third down and seven. Both the 39 yard line. Blue Dons with three receivers here to the near side. Single receiver up top and high snap. And Bowen going to go back, fall on it. And it'll be fourth and long for the Blue Dons. So just a frustrating night all sure. around at this point. And right. And, and, I, and I think if uh, you know, you're the coaching staff at Madonna, what you say is, okay, guys, uh, let's play this one play at a time. Uh, you know, we are behind. We don't know what the outcome of this game is going to be. Uh, probably won't be good, but we're playing every play as good as we can possibly play. Let's not get frustrated. There is still a lot of football to be played, and, of course, they are in position for a playoff spot if they can bounce back. Ward gets the kick away. It'll roll, and it will be down inside the 40. We'll take a timeout. 8.40 to go in the third. 34-0 Catholic Central in front of Madonna. Thirty-four nothing on your WVU Medicine scoreboard. Catholic Central Crusaders leading the Madonna Blue Dons and thirty-four points on the board. A lot of good defense helps setting things up. Nate Irvin there in the big stop. Big hits there. Cam Bradley, Bradley, Peyton Roush combining in on the sack. Noah Huff. How about the pick by Johnny Kostecki? That didn't lead to a touchdown, but eventually they would score. Tommy Purge, as he showed you, has been in on a number of stops. First choice, America first down here for the Crusaders. Rocka hands it off to Purge. Tommy Purge finding some room. Ball popped loose. It's Madonna Bounce football. Ball. I thought I saw something pop loose there. And coming up with it, it's Tyler Dillon. Okay, that, that Freshman. A little spark that might help Madonna here. Getting the ball back in central territory. Dylan on the recovery. Dylan again the on the fumble recovery. First choice America first down now for the Blue Dons. First and ten on the Crusaders. Ohio Valley Honda replay. See? Where it got knocked oh, loose. Oh, Dylan forced the fumble and recovered it. Strong effort there by the freshman. Giving the Blue Dons the football, first and 10 at the 47-yard line. Here's Bowen. This one off the mark incomplete. Bowen's pass incomplete. The Raiders had three interceptions on defense in that game last week. The homecoming win here against Fairport Harbor. Pass Harden. intended for Crossland. Second and 10. Second down and 10. Clock continuing the roll. 34-point lead for the Crusaders. We'll look to get some other guys in there in a bit. Matty Jones, freshman. Quarterback. Peyton Roush. Hello. He's having a good night also. Yes, he is. He's a good defensive end. Big, strong kid. Long. Uh, gets those arms up, and boy, I tell you what, uh, does a good job coming off the Remember edge. Remember his brother Braden last year, oh, really yeah. good on the defensive yeah. side as well Absolutely. for the Crusaders. Graduated. Third down and nine. Third down and nine. Ohio Valley Honda replay. You see him coming. He you know, came from the outside that block of, uh, of uh, Weird Madonna. Third and nine for the Blue Dots. Bowen lets it fly. Broken up. The flag comes in. Bowen's KJ Ward, complete. the intended receiver. Intended for Ward. Flag on the play. Oh, 
pass interference on the Crusaders. The pass interference is the call. And that was a good call. Yeah. Eric Meek. Block winding. First down and 10 as they move the chains. First and 10, Blue Dogs on the 30. A little trouble here on the snap. Bowen picks it up off of the bounce. Throws it as he's hit, and it will be caught by Andre Crossland. Bowen's pass complete to Crossland. Gets him back to the uh, original line of scrimmage. Brought down by Pergy. Pergy, one of the guys hey. in there on the stop. Look at it again in your Ohio Valley Honda replay. Crossland on the reception. It's uh, second Eight down and, and nine. Second down and seven. No one will keep it. He's still on his feet. Hit hard. I Pergy. Flag is thrown. Right. Pergy on the stop. No, that was a player's towel. It was a towel. I thought it was a flag. No, it was a player's towel. Pulled me. Flag on the play. <laughs> oh, there is. Up here's there a is flag, a flag. But oh. back here was a towel. <laughs> Crusaders. Here it is. Target. That's another look on your high Valley Honda replay. So now they'll move that football down Just outside the ten. On the ten, so inside the ten. Oh, it should have been outside the ten. Hmm. Look at it one more time. This is what drew the flag here. So it's uh, first and goal at the nine for first the guards. The Here nine. in the backfield to the right of Maddox Bowen inside the WMC pink zone. Udon's looking to get on the board for the first time. Bowen throws, jump ball, broken up and picked uh -huh. off by Noah Huff. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? That's, that's, that's good coverage. Yeah. Good teamwork. That's good teamwork. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, you know it. things happen because you're doing things right. Brock, yeah. I tipped it. Right. And they the work, pick. They work tip oh, drill. And he's there. He's Concentration. I'm going to find the football. First and ten. We'll take a timeout. 448 to go in the third. 34 to nothing. Thirty-four nothing on your WVU Medicine scoreboard. Four forty-one and counting here in the third. The Theaters leading by thirty-four here. First choice America first down after a great pick. Brockeye deflected it. Huff picked it up. Here is Hernan running the football. Hernan on the carry. Libertyville Central is um, you know, using up the time. Uh, with the running clock, uh, letting the play clock run down, McCarty using as much time as possible. Eight of eight. Picked up eight. Second and two. Second and two. Ball at the 27-yard line. Ludon's best uh, chance at a touchdown there. And Crusaders defense coming up with another turnover. Well, you work tip drill every day. Brock I under center, hand it off, Purgy. Purgy shakes off a couple of attempts, and here he goes. Tommy Purgy flagged behind the play, is down as Purgy races towards the end zone. Will he get caught from behind? He will by K.J. Ward. Again, a flag down back at the 36, and it's going against the Crusaders. Flag on the 
out of play. It'll be coming back. Eric Meek in the Crusaders nearly had another touchdown there, but got a little help there. Italy against the Crusaders. Flag against Central Ball back at the 20. Makes it second and six yard line. And yes, it is raining again. The it's a soggy kind of night here Saturday at Harding Stadium. You're watching us. Hopefully, you are staying dry wherever you're at. Catching us here live. And off. Oh, big hit by Matthew Gear. The Blue Dawns. Leading tackler entering this one. Mm -hmm. Nice penetration. Timed it up. Uh, you know, get the uh, free through his gap. Gear on the stop. I have Ali Honda replay. Gear gets through in a hurry. Lost a two. Lost a couple yards there. Third and six. We'll bring up third down and six for the Crusaders. For three touchdowns in less than three minutes late in the second quarter, including one as time expired to take this 34 0 lead. Purgey lowers the shoulder. Picks up a couple. Purgey on the carry for the Crusaders. Fourth down, uh, I'm willing to bet that uh, Coach Meek is going to go for McCartney this. McCartney and others on the stop for the Blue Dons. And fourth and two. With less than two to go now on this running clock in the third quarter. To keep the football in their possession, they have controlled things. Quick give to Hernan. He's got it. And more. Jimmy Hernan breaks free. Jimmy Hernan off to the races. He is at the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Jimmy Hernan. No flags behind the play. 72-yard touchdown run for Jimmy Hernan. You know, trying to get uh, you know the yard and a half, two yards, and uh, you know turns into 70 yards. He's got good speed. So I put the ball on the outside arm, high and tight, protecting that football. Labor's local 809 touchdown. Jimmy Hernan, his third of the night. 40 to nothing on the running clock. Peyton Roush, extra point try. Takes the snap and look at Peyton Roush. He's in for the two. Well, there's a lineman's dream also. I don't know if Coach Meek is uh, questioning that or it happened that way. Or, or if it slipped and it was a high snap and he just took it and ran. Instinct takes right over. Thing. Yeah. Instinct. Now we got one lineman who wants to be a receiver and the other lineman wants to be a running back after the, the plays that they've made there. But Coach Meek is, is questioning what happened. Yeah, I don't think, because he doesn't want it to look like, you know, they're trying to run things up here, obviously. So it's hard to say, you know, like, yep. but I, I, I don't know. I'm not downer. I tend to think maybe it was a high snap and he just picked it up and, you know, he didn't think about taking me. He just took the ball and ran with it. So, you, you, you know, it's funny. Uh, back when I was coaching, here, mm -hmm. my son Eric was the holder. Okay. And we were winning the ball game pretty good. Pretty soon he pulled it up and ran it in. He said, Dad, it was a bad snap. I said, I don't believe you. <laughs> so, you, you know. Yeah. So sometimes he said, but it was. So, but he did the right thing. And, yeah, he got the ball in the end. So. Here's Hernan scoring the touchdown. He needed two yards on fourth down, and instead he goes 72. For his third score of the day. And now Roush has things teed up. Another Ohio Valley by here. Right. Pay here. Kick off. Roush the kick. Ward is deep for the Blue Dons. Probably run the quarter out here. Get up. 
Picked up at the 30. Noah Huff comes flying in. On the stop. For the Crusaders. 42 nothing. your score. And that, you know, as a coach, you know, that, that whole situation when you're talking about, you know, the extra points when you're up big, you know, like that's, it's, it's such a, it's such a hard, I think, wouldn't it be time to, you know, decide, you know, when you just take a knee, when you just kick it, when do you, you know, all that, all that stuff. It's so hard. I think you coach your team and you give every kid the opportunity to do his best. We'll take a timeout. Three quarters in the book. 42 nothing. Your score. Catholic Central on its way to win number five. I could do towing and crane service. Head of the fourth, 42 nothing. Madonna with the football. First choice, America. First down and 10. And Matt Gear throwing the football. Nice completion. Downfield across midfield. It's complete to Brennan Gray, a freshman. Yeah, it was a nice throw, nice catch. Uh, you know, nice, must have been a good route. He got himself wide open and uh, secured the football. First down. Ohio Valley on the replay. Good throw on the run. He's wide open and uh, Ball secured the ball. Good tap. Mr. Reuter first down for the Blue Dons. Owen has it tipped at the line and incomplete. Bowen's pass knocked down. And that's, uh, what, two or three tips in this game by the defensive lineman yeah. from uh, Scoobinville Central. Get the hands up. Hands up. Tipped by Alex Federoff. Second down and ten. Second down and ten. And if you're Madonna here, too, like a... Hey, you, you want to stay healthy. Right. You've got a lot of football to be played. Right. You want to finish this thing strong. You've got a lot of big games ahead here. It's only loss number one on the season to right. a very good football team here. A lot of football in front of you. So uh, you know, let, let's keep everybody healthy. It's a backwards pass backwards now. Backwards pass. We saw that with the big red Dover game. Right. Gear Bones falls on it. Incomplete. Dover lost the football on that. He did. Was that game turned quickly Boy, in the yeah. second quarter. That was one of the turning points, you know, because if you remember, Big Red uh, scored. Uh, right after up the defensive fumble, touchdown. Right. right. And, and then, uh, you know, they the threw 44. the backwards pass, and uh, Big Red yeah. recovered it. So it's now third down and 20. Out. Gray making a couple moves, and then Sprockey comes in and makes the Pass stop. Complete to Gray from Bowen. Fast green, uh, get your ball Sprock off your receivers. Good athletes, get them in open space, and, and, and hope they can make something big out of. Of course, uh, Stuartville Central has defended the perimeter uh, uh, very well tonight. Game one. Fourth down, ball at the uh, forty-five yard line. It's fourth. In 20. As the running clock continues to roll. Blake clocks at 10. Blake clock will wind down. And will take a timeout. 8.58 to go here in the fourth. We will be taking a timeout as well. Crusaders in front. 42 0 under WV Medicine's scoreboard. Nothing to do Catholic Central. The clock will be rolling here on the running clock. Fourth down for the Blue Dons at the 45. Word 
done a nice job punting the football here tonight. This is going to take a real nice roll for the Blue Dots inside the 10. All the way down to 7. A trivia timeout here with 8.35 to go in this one. And that's probably a good timeout. It does stop the running clock. Coach Meek is probably trying to get some replacements into the game, make sure everybody gets good playing time experience. And, uh, uh, you know, and that's a problem with the running clock. It's hard to get people in the game. The future looks good. The future looks good. Umbrella's back out. A soggy Saturday night here at Harding Stadium. Just like last year's game in Weirton. This was won by Catholic Central 20 to nothing. This one they lead 42 to nothing. And the Crusaders will be back here Saturday night against the Oakland Golden Bears. New fresh faces into the lineup here for the Catholic Central Crusaders. Mr. Ruder first down, backed up on their own seven yard line. Matty Jones, the freshman in at quarterback. Nate Irvin, You've seen him on defense a lot. He is your fullback, and they hand it off in the backfield. I expect to see a lot of two back, quarterback under center, especially with the replacements in, give them some base plays to run, but give them some good playing time experience uh, in, in a varsity football game. Game two. Holdsworth in the backfield at the tailback spot, carrying the football. Hunter Kirkpatrick, your center, he's a sophomore. Here's Irvin on the carry, Nate Irvin. Nice run across the 34 to the 35 yard line. Irvin, the sophomore, has made his mark on defense tonight. Now gets a chance to carry it. So we'll keep that clock moving here. The running clock situation. Team quick lane replay. First and 10 at the 35. It'll be Mr. Reuter first down and 10 at the 35-yard line. Irvin, again, your fullback. Hand it off to Holdsworth. There's a couple of wood on with him. Holdsworth on the carry. McCartney brought them, brought him down. John Paul Gessler will uh, line, come out wide here to the near side. Michael Fabro, you're wide out to the top side of the formation. And running the football. Irvin. The penetration almost took the football from the quarterback scene. Justin Rowe playing up front now for the Crusaders, along with Kirkpatrick, Mr. Masakio. We saw him on defense. Here. Good penetration. Good penetration there by Gear, but the, they got rid of the ball quickly on the quick give. Fullback Irvin. Again, they get in there quickly, but here, a run at the 40, at the 30. It's Holsworth off to the races, and he will find the end zone for a Crusader touchdown. A Laborers Local 809 touchdown for Catholic Central sophomore Ryan Holsworth. That's an inside power play, inside isolation. The fullback leads up through. Deep back, the tailback carries the football, and that, nobody's going to catch him. And Holdsworth finds the end zone. Labor's local 809 touchdown. Makes it 48. Two. Nothing.
Coach Meek sends the guys back out there. Right. Uh, we had an injury back here he about did. midfield, and so he brought his team to the sidelines. Now here they will uh, take a knee on the extra point try. We'll take a timeout. 5.57 to go. Crusaders in control. Forty-eight nothing, Steubenville, Catholic Central, leading on your WV Medicine uh, score board. Five fifty-two to go. Seven Ranges Entertainment, the Goat Cam, and you are great if you uh, are bearing these weather conditions tonight. Right. Much credit <laughs> there for the Hardy folks sticking around here. In the rain, in our Seven Ranges Entertainment Goat Camp. The goat. Strop and grill at Seven Ranges. Here is the Ohio Valley buy here, pay here kickoff. It's that gear on the return, and he will be yeah, taken down to the turf. Colby Owen. Battle at the bottom there uh, for the football. David Ralston. Freshman, special teams. First and ten, blue dogs. The first and ten, blue dogs. Sister Rooter, first and ten, with the ball here at the twenty-five yard line. Tommy Purgy had himself a strong ball game, one of the many who have had strong ball games. Jimmy Hernan with the three touchdowns. Blue Dons call a timeout. With 4.48 to go in this one. Get organized here before coming out for this offensive possession. Coming up next Friday, Bordas and Bordas, Friday Night Rivals. The Red Hot Indian Creek, a Redskin with a big win today at the Bel Air, will host the Harrison Central Huskies. It'll be Friday live on Comet. Redskins at 5 and 1 after defeating. Bel Air today on the road, 40 to 26. Love we'll highlights of that matchup coming up tonight on Fox 9 and on WTOV 9. Of course, we'll wrap this one up as well. Oak Glenn played this afternoon. Mentioned that loss to Berkeley Springs, and the Golden Bears come here to Harding Stadium one week from tonight to take on these Crusaders. A little handoff. Eight versus eight right there. Right. And number eight from the Crusaders, Manny Three Jones, who's playing quarterback, comes up here on defense Jones. to take down Jones. Brennan Gray. They're a freshman. You know, it's good to see that you know, everybody's getting in this ball game, getting some quality time. Uh, it's so difficult with the running clock, but these coaches are doing a good job making sure everybody is participating. Picked up three, second down and seven for the Blue Dons. Taken down to the turf, Jeremy Orsay. For the Blue Dons. Flag is down as helmet popped up, popped off. Looks like a face mask call. Face mask. Face mask on the Crusaders. That's why the helmet popped off. Clock will continue to roll as they march it off to the 43 yard line. See the replay here. 
Maybe the end there. What? Maybe. First and ten. Wrong at angle the for us. To see. Right. Mr. Ruder, first down. For the Blue Dons. And off to Gray. Coming back Stomped the other way. Ooh, nice gets a block, block from Bowen. Yep. The freshman quarterback stepping up there. And uh, not giving up on the play is Brendan Gray. Gray on the carry for the Blue Dons. A good effort right there. Mm -hmm. picked, a lot of running. They picked up about four yards. Gessler and Holdsworth. Outstanding effort to keep it alive. And a couple of quarter, nice blocks. Quarterback also. sticking the shoulder in there. Gain of four, second and six. Second down and six after picking up those four yards. Block will just keep on rolling here. Anthony to carry in there on that offensive line for the Blue Dons. They're going to go deep looking for a throw, and it's incomplete. Flag does, does come in late. Right there at the end of the play. Intended for Nichols. Looking for Nichols play. downfield. Penalty against the Crusaders. That'll go against Central. move the football to the 38-yard uh, line. That will put the ball on the 38, first and 10 Blue Dogs. Block at 1.15 and rolling. Mr. Ruder first down. Bowen throws it. It's tipped by Matty Jones. Pass incomplete. Intended for Gray. Looking for Luke Winget downfield, another freshman for the Blue Dons. Broken up by Jones. It's another tip ball from uh, the Crusader defense. Evan Kavark in at receiver as well here for the Blue Dons on this, what appears to be the final drive. And the Crusaders, the big blue zone, will celebrate what is going to be a 40 Eight to likely zero victory. We'll see the Blue Dons out. Find the end zone before we're done here. Here's Bowen. He's going deep. Here we go. Downfield. It's tipped and it's incomplete. And we saw earlier the tip that uh, ended yeah. up in the it Crusaders' was. hands might have happened again. And that will be the final play they run in this one. Studentville Catholic Central goes to five and one. Congratulations. Three touchdowns in less than three minutes ago late in the first half. Breaks this one open. The Crusaders the winner. 48 stuffy. We will take a timeout and we'll wrap up things with our post-game report in a moment. Forty-eight to nothing. Your final score here, live at Harding Stadium in Steubenville, as the Crusaders go to five and one. Time now to talk about Labor's local eight hundred nine, a player of the game. A lot of good performances by the Crusaders in this one. Uh, Jimmy Hernan with three touchdowns, a receiving touchdown, and then two rushing scores. It's a big part of this Crusader victory here to go to five and one on the season in a 48 to nothing victory. Not the largest margin of victory in this series. Back in 2018, Central won 70 to six. The largest Madonna win in the series was back in 2010 when Madonna won 41 to nothing. Now a look at the, the Plumbers and Pipefitters local union 495 play of the game. How about the nice throw and catch here? Noah Huff gets the foot in. 
Off the throw by Matthew Sprockeye for that touchdown late in the first half. So Coach Filberto, lots of football still to be played for both these teams, including Absolutely. Madonna, a chance to bounce back next week at home against Cameron. Well, you know, you know they're going to be better after this game. They, they played good quality. They're going to catch that kind of quality in the playoffs if they get there so they know what the measuring stick is. Uh, for Steubenville Central, they proved that they're, they're good enough. They beat an undefeated team. They ran the ball. They played great defense. So, so they're one of those teams that possibly could do well in the playoffs. They were... Certainly looking good here tonight, controlling the football, running the football, and they threw it as well. The uh, Stimbo Catholic Central Crusaders, a winner, 48 to nothing. They'll be home next Saturday night, hosting the Oakland Golden Bears. For our entire hardworking crew behind the scene and my partner, the coach, Tony Filberto, I am Rob Messer. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you again soon. Have a great night. And on Comet, special Saturday edition of the Bordis and Bordis Friday Night Rivals. Fourth and goal, Steubenville Central's Matthew Sprockeye to Jimmy Hernan. 7 0 over unbeaten Madonna after one. 4 and 1 Crusaders add to the lead. That's Tommy Pergy touchdown. And then off of the tip, Johnny Kostecki with the interception. Central didn't score off of that turnover, but they would get the football back later. Timmy Mahalio recovers the fumble here. And Pergy would soon score again, make it 21 0. About three minutes to go until halftime. Crusaders get it back and score again. Sprock out of Noah Huff. Great catch in the back corner of the end zone. Ensuing kickoff less than 30 seconds ago till half. They recover as Nate Irvin forced the fumble. And then Hernan scores as they hit zeros in the first half. Hernan, a 72-yard touchdown run on fourth and two in the third quarter. Crusaders win 48-0 to go to 5-1. and one. Madonna has Cameron on Friday. The Crusaders host Oak Glen Saturday. Bears fell to Berkeley Springs earlier today.